Pisces, how you doing? Welcome to your weekly reading here on the Astro Flower, going from the 1st through to the 7th of uh, July. Looking forward to your reading, actually, because I do do the week, I do do dailies on the, uh, on the, um, on TikTok. And uh, it's been very interesting. There's been a lot of trepidation on your, on your behalf, I think. It's been difficult to position um, because of the outside world, but it's been difficult for you to position. And I think you've got the, I definitely think you've got the, the gumption or the, the, the will or the want to actually get some really good results and engage in life. I think, you know, there's a, there's a real desire to live, but it's, you know, it's sometimes it's difficult to see when, uh, it's difficult to see when the outside world is constantly changing. The energy is a little bit like that at the moment. Um, but yes, I think you've got it within you. And I think this is where the change is going to come for you more than anything else. We're into um, cancer season, a fellow uh, a water sign for you. So it should be a lot more productive for you. Let's just get on it anyway. Overall energies here, karmic message on your relationship side, karmic message on your financial side, influence in the universe, past self, future self, general lesson lesson or outcome uh, for the week. Let's just get the message which is going on for you today. Shoot for the start. Go, be that shooting star. Literally, um, the more, the quicker you go forward, the less problems you're going to have. So the, the more you engage in life, the less problems you're going to have because you're going to take yourself out of a place where stagnant, uh, uh, being stagnant will cause problems for you. So I think it's a case of going forth and going forth. Yeah, you got the nine of swords there. Yeah, I think this is what the energy, the overall energy is trying to get you out of. As I said, I think there's a lot of trepidation, um, trying to get you out of a vicious circle in a way, uh, something that's bringing in negative energy to your life. And I think you could really, you know, you really need to, um, excuse me, you really need to, um, Go forward and engage in life more than anything else. Let's just see what's going on on the relationship side here. There's a desire for uh, for having fun, uh, going out, socialising, connecting with people. There is no doubt about that. And on your karmic path here, that's really looking forward. Uh, it's almost looking forward to kind of going, you know, I know what I want in, for me. Let's find out if there's someone else who wants the same thing in life. That's what your karmic message is about. And I think it's, it's that getting away from that more than anything else. Your past self is your past. And I think you're not really, um, you shouldn't really be looking at it in a way. I think you can take a retrospective maybe in the following week after the 7th. But at the moment, I would certainly be concentrating on the future. And the future is certainly, it's, um, taking you to another level, almost like an ascension moment in your, um, within you. And what's the message for this week here? If you, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And that, I think that's, I think that's water signs at the moment. Uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's just see what's going on in your karmic path. Woo! Ace of, ace of pentacles. This is what your future, this is where you're going towards. And I think almost the gift of life is what you're giving yourself here. Um, rather than waiting for it to turn up from outside, I think you're going, you should be going after it. Or you could be going after it. There's a great opportunity for physical engagement with other people in regards to relationships. And that could be through activities. It could be also going out for barbecue and stuff like that. You know, if you're looking for a partner, uh, this is the sort of thing you need to be doing. You need to be out there. You need to be in it to win it in a way, you know. Uh, uh, but you do need to get, you need to put one foot in front of the other and, and live life, basically. What's that universal sort of thing about? Yeah, you get the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is about sort of taking a direction as well, more than anything else. Simply because you've realized that there's, the pettiness is just holding you back. And that's what we've seen here as well. I think the, the overall energies and the universe are playing, are in cahoots together in order for you to actually step forth and embrace life in a really beautiful way. And when you're past self, yeah, you've got the five of 
uh, five of wands. Now you've got two fives uh, playing on here, uh, and they're both um, all about a little bit about conflict, but it is the past, it's not your future. And I, I would recognize that, you know, because your future's got the Ten of Pentacles. It, and I think this is what your karmic path is trying to sort of say to you. Don't wait for it to happen, you know. Uh, don't wait for it to happen. Go out there, engage, and then, and live it yourself more than anything else. And in the future, I think you will, after the seventh, I think you will start realizing you have everything that is on your side more than anything else. And look at that. You get the three of pentacles at the top, the lesson of the day. Um, you know, uh, what was it? Um, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Was that, was that the message? Um, you know, this is it. You're, I think you're going to start realizing or people are going to start realizing that you've uh, broken free from the grasp of someone else or a situation or a relationship that no longer has a control over you. And people are recognizing that actually you've done the good work. You've got a lot of good things going for you. And I think it's going to bring other people into your sphere uh, into your life that also has done that good good work and it's like sort of saying you know i know what i want now let's find out and see if there's someone else who wants the same thing <coughs> and i think this comes very true we'll see that in the light series card let's just see what's going on on your financial side the karmic path here is um i think you need to I think you need to use your enthusiasm, your tenacity to work, um, and push it in every single direction at the same time. Just taking on that persona, kind of going, yep, yeah, I'm going to get success. If you take on that persona, there's a greater chance you're going to get it. And that's what seems to be coming through there on your, on your, um, on your financial side, on your karmic path. You get the king of cups converting emotions into reality and that's what i mean about that good vibration that you need to push in all sort of directions in order to get the results out of it you know um the universe that's split between the two as well it's split between you and the outside world so it's almost sort of saying if you put in a good shift the universe will back you up that's the sort of feeling i get from it and from the past there's a lot of understanding of uh, uh, you know knowing what you do not want that's really important it's very it's a lot more difficult to know what you want it's much easier to know what you don't want and i think this is where your past is really helping you and your future self it's almost like a glow up is it because you're pushing it in all different angles it's you're getting a lot of recognition and i think this recognition will also help you to gain a lot more confidence within your relationship side as well. And the overall outcome, the message for this, or the lesson for this week here is, uh, shine. Let the world see your light, basically. Uh, I think more than anything else. Yeah, this is two of ones. This is brilliant for the universe. As I was saying, the, as you put in, the universe will put in, in combining in a plan, having a plan of action. If you've got a plan to go forward of what you want out of life, say, I want this particular type of house, I want this particular lifestyle, the universe will understand that. And then therefore it can back you up and it will match you, you know, dollar for dollar uh, in your adventures as you go forward. You know, your past, yeah, a lot of lessons learned in your past. Uh, as I said, uh, you've got the seven of pentacles there's obviously there's now the time to start nurturing uh what you want you know what you don't want and now it's now time to nurture what you do want and in your future self you get the king of swords a beautiful wisdom in regards to your job your business and your projects whichever it concerns you and your money factors uh, and your life that you're going forward trust your inner judgment trust your inner wisdom you know what you want, or you're going to be knowing what you want. Therefore, use that wisdom of what you want to actually drive every action that you do um, going forward. <laughs> you get the full card that comes out at the end. Um, 
yeah, the full card is, you know, is, is a leap of faith. And I think it's a leap of faith in, for you, not necessarily in a job or business. It could well be taking a business or a job on that is completely out of your reign, uh, realm, uh, but it could be a really good thing. But I think it's more than anything else. It's the confidence that you, uh, that you sort of put out there is what you're going to, is going to give you the best returns. Uh, in life, uh, more than anything else. Let's just do a bit of um, clarifications. I want to see this relationship side more than anything else, what's going on. Because it seems like a lot of, you know, you're sorting a lot of chaff from the wheat, as it were. Yeah, it's, you know, it is the end. This is the overall energies here. It is the end of that, um, that sort of doubt and uh, sort of perpetual sort of stress in life. Because you have the hand, your hands on the wheel of fortune. You have the control of your own destiny here. And once you, once you really realize that, that's when you can just literally walk away from maybe something that has been holding you back in your relationship side and allow you to open up and flow beautifully on your financial side. With the Ace of Pentacles, you get the Knight of, um, Ones. Yeah, this is a new passionate mission you're going on. And it's very physical. And it's a very physical connection with someone. There's a lot of pentacles going on here. Ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles, and the three of pentacles. It's an engagement in a very physical sense. And that obviously that could be with another person. Or it could be generally with the world in socializing, doing activities, opening up um, your palette of... Um, possibilities of joy and happiness within your life yet the universe is giving you the uh well card with the five of swords that petty annoying situation that was causing you headache and was making you you know it's like someone they have to argue with you to maintain your attention in their sphere and it's like they, they pick on any little thing just to keep you, uh, you know, talking to them or, or, you know, or something like that. And the, and the universe is here is sort of saying, no, there's a whole new world out there and you've got to go out there and discover it. If they follow you, fine, fair enough. But just don't get involved in any of the petty inner conflicts or outer conflicts anymore. Yeah, I do believe you have to fight for love in a way um with the five of wands being the best example of yourself um i think this is what's come from the past you've, you've done a lot of that and i think you've done a lot of fighting maybe in a situation and now something new is completely giving over and that's where we can see here with that new passion in life in regards to your ace of pentacles and the knight of wands going off on a really physical passionate mission here and that's out of the old is going to come something really beautiful, uh, a real sort of um, control over the emotional situation within your life, within your relationships. And it does bode incredibly well for you. Yeah, look at that. With the Ten of Pentacles, you get the Knight of Cups. You've now got, look at that. With the Ace of Pentacles, you get the Knight of Wands. With the Ten of Pentacles, you get the Knight of Cups. This is an offering coming into you communication opening up and and it is very much on the physical front as well and it's it's not just words it's not just lip service it's really you're getting um a real connection with someone in the future because you've decided or you should be deciding to go out there and get it life will be a much better the world will be a better place when you do go out there and get it uh Pisces. You know, and then you get the full card. Just twice you got the full card now. Out of the lessons. You've got nothing to lose here by stepping out on your pathway in regards to what you want. I think you know what you want in the way of relationships. And therefore, you can literally <laughs> step out into uh, what you really want out of the life. My dad's just come out and set the dogs off. Unbelievable. <laughs> Bless him. Either the dog or my dad, both of them. So yeah, just having really good, um, 
good quality work and trusting in that, trusting in yourself. And that's trusting in this love as well, because you know what you want and what you're after. Let's just go on and see what's going on on your financial side. You've got the King of Cups on there with the lovers converting in emotions uh, into reality. Uh, what you emotionally want to live in your in your world, you're going to come together with uh, what you what you want to be doing. It's going to be a really harmonious thing, really really beautiful, you know, uh, because you're pushing it out there in all different directions as well. And you get the three of pentacles again. This is where the universe is going to match you step for step. The more you put in, the more the universe coincidences, the energy is really going to help you out enormously. And really start, it's good quality work here. If you're very true to your direction of where you're going, you're, you're going to get some really good quality stuff. Nurturing your past, your future, nurturing what you want, and that's where your passions come into play. Uh, because you get the queen of wands here and you've got to be and I think this is what I was saying earlier on I think you've got to push it in so many different directions look at all of those little candles she has she's concentrating on one thing at a time yes because you need to do that in order to nurture your future but if you just sort of like engage in it and really allow your passions to be the driving force that's when you're going to be able to nurture exactly the lifestyle you wish to live in regards to uh, in, in regards to your financial side, with the King of Swords, your wisdom, you know, with look at that because now you have with the Lovers card, with the with the King of Cups, you get the Lovers card, and out the top you get the Queen of Cups, divine counterpart. I think this is an emotionally incredibly fulfilling journey that you are going on that's going to make you a lot wiser about life. Um, it's going to help you a lot more in your judgment. Yes, it is a leap of faith. You have to go out there, you can get involved in it. And I think once you do start pushing the boundaries, you're going to get some really, really good results. You get the two of ones again. We've already seen that with the universe and the good quality work from you, that the more that you put in, the more you're going to get back out. And this leap of faith here, is a leap of faith, but it's got a certain plan to it. I think the plan is about uh, what you want out of life, what sort of style of life you want to live, you know, what sort of house you want, what sort of um, where you want to be living, what sort of like uh, life you want to be living. And I think the job, the business and the projects will all come into alignment with that. And I think you need to be focused on that goal uh, of, the, of, of the general sort of, lifestyle you wish to live the more you do that the more the results you're going to get there you go pisces thank you very much for being here really do appreciate it i uh, hope you get the best out of these readings really appreciate all your support through any which way you see fit in the youtube system because we're certainly not getting it for youtube you know so anything you give to us we are nothing without you guys um yes i will speak to you soon in the meantime don't forget life should be fun so please do enjoy